guys and welcome back to another free plugin Friday. Today we look at yet a, another drum plugin. This time it's Beat Factory Drums. Uh, so this is basically a sample based free lot of different drum kits uh, all mapped to the keys with a few cool features. Uh, so let's dive right in. So basically you have presets, you have this many kits, they've all got different samples. Those samples are down here. You have two kicks, two snares, clap, two hi-hats, cymbal, percussion one, percussion two, hit one, hit two. And these all change depending on what preset you've got loaded. Uh, you also have volumes for each of the kits up here. You've got panning, so your basic volume and pan, which is great. And you have an ADSR. Now, this is kind of important and kind of not important. It is actually quite interesting. Uh, I've been firing it using my TR8 which if you don't know is a roll and drum machine and I'm using the MIDI from that. Now the MIDI from that assumes it's kind of one shot sample so it just sends a really short uh, note length. But this plugin sees your note length and basically plays that sample for as long as the note length which means you can get uh, really short different samples or you can turn the release up to full and you get the full one shot sample. So we will demonstrate that, uh, but it is a cool feature to have, but it isn't as useful as you would think. Uh, there's also panning overall, reverb and volume. So a simple plugin, fair few sounds, let's dive into it. So I've got this 80s kit up, I've got this drum pattern loaded into my drum machine. Uh, let's play it so you can hear it. We're going to go through all the kits first. We're going to do the same beat, it doesn't really suit all the kits. Uh, it's more of a kind of hip hop beat, so it kind of suits some of the kits. But, you know, you get the idea. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is, like I said, move the release uh, up all the way for each one as a preset. And um, then we'll go into the ADSR and you can see why. So let's start off actually in the 808 kit, because uh, who doesn't like an 808? Move to the 80s kit. Now we'll go through these in more detail in a second, but just to start us off, you get the vibe. Dubstep kit. Second dubstep kit. Bob kit one. Hip hop kit two. Indian kit. This one's really cool. Sample kit. These are better to look at individually. I'll move straight to the, the trap kit. So you kind of got an idea of the different sounds in here. Let's go through each kit properly uh, because it doesn't really work so well like that. So we're going to just put that ADSR back there. Let's start off with the 808 kit. Starting here, we have your, your, your normal kick. Now you can't change the decay or anything like that you would on 808. If you want to do that, go check out Sub by Sample Sun. I'm also going to do Free Plugin Friday on that, so you might have already seen it. If not, go check the video out and grab Sub because you can do things like change the decay and stuff. And it's a really good 808 style kit. But anyway, we're talking about Beat Factory. So first kick, second kick, a bit tighter, typical 808 snare. Not so typical, but 808 snare, 808 clap, hi hat, other hi hat, weird symbol, symbol, percussion which is your 808 style cowbell, rim shot, 
maracas and i think that's one of the tom but you know you're missing the rest of the toms but still cool 808 kit now the 80s kit now that's really cool Obviously two kicks, two stairs, already got reverb built in, clap, hi-hat one, hi-hat two, crush cymbal, cool kind of stereo percussive sample there, another kind of cool, uh, I think it sounds like some kind of African drum there, massive hit, another massive tom hit, and you can even add even more reverb if you need. So that's the 80s kit. Straight away, just get some 80s sound. Really, really cool. Tub Steps kit is really cool too. And this is where you start getting some samples in that aren't exactly drums. So, Kick one, kick two, snare. On the snare, huge sounding clap. Kind of annoying hi-hats, I don't really like them as much in this one, but they exist. Cymbal. Cool little percussion stuff, and then these kind of cool hits that are very dubstepy. Uh, let's move on to the other dubstep kit, very similar. Kick. Snare, this one's a little bit tighter, a little bit more kind of down to worth, cooler kind of um, hi-hats there. Cymbal, percussion, and your more standard toms for hits. Um, now the hip hop kits, very similar to the 808 kits. Same again, I'll just play them all. Kick, two solid, pretty good sounding kick. Don't know about that snare, but it might work for you. Pretty cool snare there, really long tail. So if we turn the release up, it will trigger on everything. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and you've got clap, two hats, cymbal. That's kind of cool. Nice shaker. And this one is the coolest one. It's pretty much vinyl scratch. Really cool for that kind of old school hip hop kind of vibe you might be going for. Uh, hip hop kit two, very similar. But again, different kicks. Got a bit longer kicks. Got a bit of a shaker kind of tambourine thing going on that snare. That's got a bit of a roll to it. Which is cool, you could use that in anything. And it's a really, really long sample there. Clap. Another very typical hip hop thing. Now you've got that kind of phased uh, hi-hat there. Very kind of almost gimmicky cymbal thing. That's kind of cool. Same with the, that percussive, uh, guiro or something, I think. That sounds like some kind of shake. Different kind of snare, different kind of cymbal. So you can see, I mean, I've been, I'll go through most of the sounds, but you can see, uh, even though the presets have certain names, you can use some of these samples in your productions, they might be useful. Uh, now this is the coolest one, is the Indian kit. It's got basically some Indian style percussion. Uh, 
Now, uh, you'd have to program in something much better than that, but you get the gist. All those different sounds are hopefully played through all of them. Uh, sample hits. Now, these are also cool because these are more different kinds of samples that aren't really drums. <laughs> all the little roll things. That's a roll. It's a bit loud, this one. Really cool kind of cinema-esque stuff, like vintage cinema style. Some grooves. Okay, they're not in time. Some cool sound effects. Little bass little thing there. Oh, and, and obviously some kind of Indian sample there. Uh, so like I said, yeah, you can mix up all the presets together and kind of get some interesting different sounds. Uh, samples two. A lot of instrument samples in this one, I think. Another cool one. So little bits of instruments, really, really cool for that kind of hip hop loops and stuff. Oh, that is just, that's just nostalgic 90s hip hop right there. That's awesome. Big synth hit, another big hit. And the last one is just a trap kit. I mean, you can get trap samples anywhere, but... Cool, so let's have a look at the ADSR. We're still on the trap kit. I'm gonna play that beat again. Now you can hear it sounds kind of awful. That's because of the ADSR. Now I'm just gonna turn off these hats because these are triggering hi-hat too, which is not really what I want. Okay, so the release obviously controls the release. So this, it's the length of the note you're plugging into it. So I'm plugging a really short note into it. Now if I turn it up, it just plays a whole note. And if I go shorter, you get a really, really short note. So let's put it up. To here and then you can adjust the sustain and decay and they're really really subtle they kind of just lower the volume a bit in the tail end because I'm playing it for so short it doesn't really work so let's uh, let's just say we play it on here so I go uh, let's just uh, go there I play this kick right Release there. Very subtle. Uh, so if we go back to the beat. Obviously attack is the front end. Really not that useful for these sounds, maybe say for the samples or something. But not really. And let's go back to the trap key and the last thing we look at is just the reverb. Pretty cool reverb. So say we pan stuff. Uh, let's add in.
Okay, so let's go back to the beat and have a look at panning stuff around and using the reverb. So. Typical. Now we're using this um, hit here. So if I want to pan that over there. And maybe I want to add a little bit of hat in there. Okay, and that hat, we want to pan that over here. And then let's have a look at the reverb. Fairly, fairly nice reverb. Um, you know, mainly you'd want to use your own outboard reverb, but this works in a jiffy. So that was Beat Factory Drums, link in the description. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Free Plugin Friday is every single Friday. If you've got any suggestions for plugins you want me to check out, drop that in the description as well. I'd love a like and just farewell. Enjoy your evening, morning, whatever time of day it is where you are and I'll see you next time.